I think the track's gonna come to it. I think right now one up would be a little faster. I think it's going in that direction because that was the track was a lot better. Because the pace is a lot better. It looks like you need more grip now. Initial, it's numb. Initial, it's numb, and then if you try to really get the rear to bite, it kind of slides laterally, evenly. As usual with mine, it's a little twitchy and nervous in the first couple laps, and then it settles in, and it's very balanced. So, uh, it's over 130, it'll be red. Yeah, there'll be red lights. Try to keep it up. I think some of those double load effects, like the one going on in the back, maybe 30, start and set. Oh, it starts, start and set. So today here, um, obviously a new track for everybody, obviously have all his news challenges, but I think overall as a team we're, we're doing well. I, I, I was really happy with the last session. We we found, a, I, I think, a better solution than what we were originally thinking what we were going to have. So changes some things up and I think uh, tomorrow we'll have a better understanding of where we really sit, but I'm sure everybody else was, was going to improve also. But uh, all in all, good day. No, no huge issues, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Obviously, tomorrow is the one that, that counts. See how you're narrow and all these guys in front of you? And watch what happens on the exit. They all go away, right? Because you're losing a bit more track. It's not the engine, but the engine would be a nice one. Okay. Nice work. That was good. Uh, that's, you got to watch out for that, okay? Again, guys, on these temporary circuits, if we go for moves, we have to be 100% committed. Because if we don't, things like this could easily end up a lot worse, right? That driver came all the way down. Hunter Pickett up a couple spots in Shifter Rock. He has climbed into seventh. Kyle Wick on the move, made a mistake in qualifying, tagged the barriers. He's going to spend a lot of his heat races trying to march on forward in the track magic. Lots of comers and goers here in the opening round of heat races after qualifying was a mixed bag for many. Liam Lech. Liam Lech on the move in the GFC entry. He has crossed into the top five in VLR Senior. And Lech will come across the line. P4, first heat race of the weekend. Second and final round of heat races on the day before we move into heat number three and into Saturday. Hunter Pickett up a couple spots in the final heat race on the afternoon. Picks up three, crosses the line, P4 in heat two for Shifter Rock. Final day of heat racing coming up here Saturday at Rock Vegas 2021. We've got heats three and four still to come. Working our way through the fourth and final round of heat races. This is the last chance to improve your starting position for Sunday. And as we run later in the day here, there's been a lot of chaos and controversy already in the first couple. Big movers, VLR Jr., a number of drivers coming forward. Preston Lambert up 14 spots in the final heat race to 10th. And that'll do it as the lights come on and the carts exit the racetrack. We've got the grid set. All that's left is Championship Sunday. Beautiful day here for racing on a Sunday morning and early afternoon in Las Vegas. We've got a handful of main events in the morning, then another round of main events in the afternoon. Time to get things started. Final couple movers here as we closed off the first final in VLR Junior, Keegan Kaminsky up into the top 10 just ahead of Sebastian Weldon. VLR Senior next up and Green here as we go down to turn number one. Liam Lech, one of the underdog drivers coming into the event, impressed a lot in heat number four. He has faded a little bit here in the final, still running decently overall. Final main event of the weekend, Shifter Rock, the headline division. Closing stages here, Hunter Pickett under fire with Ron White pressuring him. He was in a podium spot for a moment, has dropped back. The closing stage is going to come into the clutches of Kyle Wick here with a lap or two to go as the track magic driver has been on a tear back forward all week long. And while it's Danny Formal out front winning the main event here, your uh, top five run, Jake French, A.J. Myers, Ron White on the final lap. Wick 
Able to get by Pickett there for fifth. Couple of teammates, fifth and sixth, to close out your front runners. So our weekend as a whole, I mean, overall very positive. I mean, I think everyone left from the team. We had a massive group of drivers. This is the most we've ever had here at a single race, and uh, my team did a great job of servicing everyone. I think everyone came away from the weekend with a very positive vibe, so I mean, I think that's most important. We didn't get the great results that we did maybe last year. I mean, obviously it's hard to back up last year being, winning the two premier classes, but I'm super, super proud of the, the work my team did.